Hello everybody. I went to stay at Satsan Foundation's Madhunapalli Ashram and I'll tell you all about it. It is easy to reach there from Bangalore because it is only two and a half hours by cab to Madhunapalli. You can actually see the change in the landscape with plains giving way to rocky hills. Before reaching Bangalore itself, I booked a room for myself from the Satsan Foundation website. So first, you will have to fill up your details requesting accommodation and then they will mail you back regarding the availability. After that, you can pay for your stay and the prices are very reasonable. It cost me around 2000 bucks for a two night stay. You can stay there for a maximum of up to three nights only. But after I went there, I realized that two nights were proper for me to have a good time. So after you arrive at the ashram, you have to make an entry at the reception and then the security guard will take you to your room. The minute you enter the ashram, you will be delighted to notice the silence that surrounds you. The room is pretty modest, but it is very neat and clean. I did not opt for sharing and so I was alone in my room. No toiletries are provided. There is a provision for hot water in the bathroom. They gave me a complimentary handmade soap which smelled of refreshing lemongrass. The ashram has a Shivalaya where there are idols of Lord Ganapati and Lord Shiva. Next to it, there is Sri Yantra. All are beautifully decorated with flowers. I saw people meditating here. Then there is a people tree and next to it there is a Yagya Kund. It is under this people tree that Sriyam gives lectures. There is an audio visual room which was closed the whole time that I was there. There are some private buildings also. Then there is Yoga Shala. The dog you see here is Google, a very friendly dog who loves all attention. Yogashala is a hall with a picture of Babaji and a consecrated temple of Patanjali. That's the right spot for you to meditate. When I went, there were a few people doing yoga, Kriya Yoga, etc. I have never met Sri M and therefore I have not been initiated. And so I spent my time mostly doing Hamsa and other kinds of meditation. There are mats placed on a table for you to use while meditating. They have also mentioned some important details about yogic way of life on chart papers stuck on the wall. Details like what food to eat and what to avoid, all these things are provided. Then a little ahead of the yoga shala, you have to cross the road and there is a small goshala. The cows there are very cute. There was a naughty calf also. I was told that they won't do any harm and so I could pet some of them and it was a very loving experience for me. In the Goshala, they have cows and bulls. In many places, I have seen families taking care of only the cows and abandoning the bulls. So it is nice to see all of them being protected and well taken care of. Then there is a school for the underprivileged in the same premise. There was a shrine for Babaji, but it was demolished as they are planning to make it bigger. So as you can see, the ashram is pretty small and there is nothing much happening there. So you are all by yourself and so you can do whatever you want to do with your time here. I found it very relaxing to sit on the benches opposite the people tree. It is always windy there and so the trees made beautiful sounds, especially the bamboo tree next to the bench opposite the people tree. The air is fresh and very fragrant with the smell of different flowers. So you will feel like taking a lot of deep breaths. There is absolutely no noise other than that of the nature. The food is served strictly on time. It is basic food and you don't have to pay extra for the food. 
द चेक आउट टाइम इज टेन ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड द इंटरनेट इज बैड दे एंड सो इट इज लाइक यू विल नॉट वेस्ट योर प्रेशियस टाइम हियर ब्राउसिंग सो नो डिस्ट्रैक्शन एट ऑल फ्रॉम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड योर ट्रू सेल्फ दैट्स डीप इन साइड योर स्टिल माइंड देर आर सीरीज एंड बुक्स ऑफ श्रीएम विच यू कैन गेट फ्रॉम द रिसेप्शन बट आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर इट पर्सनली बिकॉज रीडिंग इज समथिंग दैट आई कैन डू एट होम ऑल्सो आई स्पेंड माई टाइम मेडिटेटिंग एंड जस्ट रिफ्लेक्टिंग अपॉन लाइफ एज सच देर जस्ट सेवन हंड्रेड मीटर्स फ्रॉम द आश्रम there is a bhuvaneshwari temple i made a visit there also there is a beautiful goddess there then there is lord shiva there is mahavishnu in ananta shayanam and then there are so many different idols and they are huge idols rock cut huge idols they are all kept on the pavement of the temple it's a nice place to visit and it closes by around 9:15 am in the morning so you should go before that or you should go in the evening for all those who want some silence and a break from stress should visit this ashram i hope you had a feel of how shriyam's ashram is like so thanks for watching and take care bye